Hey guys, Jay's Hammer of Precision, also known as an accessory hammer, has been introduced into BDO on April 3rd's patch. With their ability to be sold onto the market, it's important to know what their value is before you buy, sell, or use them to tap accessories. In this video, we'll go over what the value of the hammer is and whether it's worth it to tap non debareka and debareka accessories with the hammer. Very quickly, we'll go over non debareka accessories. Generally, it's not going to be worth using hammers to tap non-debo accessories as most of the non-debo tests are worth a lot less than the hammer, making it more worth to sell the hammer, buy a tet, and raw tap it. The only time it could be worth tapping a non-debo accessory instead of selling it is if hammers go down to 27 bill, and after tax you would only get around 23 bill. If the tet accessory you are tapping is worth more than that, it would be better to use the hammer. However, it will always be more worth to tap a Debareka accessory compared to a regular accessory. But if you refuse to tap Debos or you don't think that you will in the short term, then you can use this to decide whether or not you want to tap a regular accessory or not. With the current market value, if you refuse to tap Debarekas, I would almost always suggest selling the hammer, but it is possible if hammers become min-listed and regular accessories such as Dons go up in price, then it could be worth, though this is very unlikely. Finally, we'll get to the bulk of this video, which is valuing hammers based on tapping pen de barecas. If you plan or are planning to tap pen de bareca accessories, this part of the video will help in deciding whether to sell your hammer, use your hammer to tap, or even buy hammers to tap. To find out what to do with hammers, we have to determine the fundamental value of the hammer itself. If the current market silver price is less than the value of the hammer, it would be worth it to buy hammers. If the hammer is worth the same as the current market silver price, it wouldn't make a difference. And if you can get more silver by selling the hammer and losing tax compared to what the hammer is worth, it would be worth selling the hammer. Now we have to determine the value of the hammer itself. Keep in mind that the value we're trying to find is in relationship to tapping pen de bareca accessories. If you have no intention of doing so, the value of the hammer may be different to you. To find the value of the hammer, we're going to compare it to the alternative of tapping pen de barecas, which is using crons. The value of the hammer should be equivalent to the cost of using crons to enhance. Now keep in mind that the cost of using crons isn't just how much silver it takes to buy crons, as that would be too easy. It's the sum of all the costs that take place when using crons to enhance. To find the cost of using crons to enhance debos, we'll first import all the base prices of crons into Excel and multiply it by how much crons it takes to enhance debos. Each cron is worth about 1.635 million silver if you buy outfits from the central market at max price and extract them into crons. Some people value crons higher and we will talk about this later. It takes 11,548 crons to enhance a deboreca accessory. So in total, the base cost of crons to enhance is about 18.89 billion silver per tap. This is the first major cost. The second major cost is the cost of a Debareka downgrading on failure. Keep in mind, the Debo will not downgrade when failing on a hammer, so this cost is exclusive to using crons. To calculate this number, we need the chance of failure, the chance of downgrading, and the cost of Tet and Tri Debos. For this section, we'll use a 250 stack as an example, which has a 13% chance of success and an 87% chance of failure. Later on in the video, we'll go over different stacks ranging from 210 to 300. To calculate this cost, we start with the chance of failure, which is 87%. If the pen debo succeeds, this cost will be zero as it won't downgrade on failure. We then multiply 87 by the chance of downgrading on failure while using crons, which is 40%. We know this as it was stated in the game previously when enhancing. We then multiply this by the difference in value of a tet debo and a tri debo, which according to the current market price is around 61.4 billion silver. This all comes down to about 21.367 billion silver. Every time you enhance with crons on average, you will lose this amount due to the downgrades of debarecas. In total, the cost of using crons to enhance a debareka is around 40.25 billion silver. Finally, we have to look at what you get when enhancing with crons on failure, which is around 87% of the time. You will still gain one stack when using crons and failing. A stack is valued around 700 to 1 billion silver, as that is equivalent to around a third of what Dark Hungers are priced at. At a 250 stack, you will get 3 stacks from Dark Hungers. If you wanted to, you could subtract that cost from the total cost of crons, as it is a gain and not a loss. 
If you do, then the cost of using Krons to enhance is around 39.5 billion silver or 39.4 billion silver. Keep in mind that failing with the hammer will not give a stack, so this benefit is exclusive to using Krons. As we mentioned earlier, the value of using a hammer to tap Debereka should be equivalent to the alternative, which is the cost of using Krons to enhance. So the hammer is worth 39.5 billion silver. So what does all this math mean? If you're enhancing pen Debereka's and the market silver price of the hammer is less than 39.5 billion silver, you should always buy hammers to enhance rather than using Krons. This means that you should buy hammers that are less than 39.5 billion silver. Keep in mind though, this doesn't include opportunities of arbitrage, so if you think that the hammers will dip way below 39.5 billion silver, which it should around the release of this video since people are dumping it for silver, then you should hold off on buying them and wait till you believe they are at the minimum value they will go or whatever inflection point you believe the rate at which the drop in price will slow down. All in all, if they are below 39.5 billion silver and you think you will tap a pen de Bareca in the future, you should be willing to buy the hammers. Now let's look at the sell side. If the price of the hammers is so high that you can sell the hammer, take the loss of taxes, and still have more than 39.5 billion silver, which is around 46.25 billion that this can happen, then you should sell the hammer assuming you value Krons at 1.6 million. The big issue with this is a lot of people value Krons a lot higher than 1.6 million, as with the current market, it's not very easy to pre-order costumes and convert them to Krons at a high rate. I get around one costume every one or two days, but this means that I'll need to wait two to four weeks to get one Kron tap. Because of this, a lot of players buy blacksmith crons to compensate. If we use blacksmith cron stones, which is 3 million silver each, to calculate the value of cron tapping, the total cost of crons themselves is 34.6 billion, and the total value is 56 billion, which is a lot higher than what hammers can go for on the market. Meaning that if you are currently buying blacksmith cron stones, it will always be more worth to tap using hammers and to buy hammers on the market. It also means that it will never be worth to sell hammers if you buy blacksmith cron stones. In general, since outfits are sold so infrequently, it is almost always worth it to buy hammers to tap unless outfit starts sitting on the market. The break even point in which crons are worth the exact same as a 50 billion hammer is around 2.48 million silver each cron. Again, due to arbitrage, this doesn't mean you should buy every hammer on the market right now, as it is very likely that the price will crash in the short term. Finally, we'll quickly look at how different stacks can affect the price. It isn't too much, but can make a bit of a difference. If you look at this chart, we have the stack, the fail rate, the cron cost, which stays the same, the cost of downgrading, which is inversely related to the stack amount, the total cost, and the dark hunger value. As we can see, the total cost goes down the higher stack you use. Also, with the higher stack, the dark hunger value goes up as you get less stacks per dark hunger if your stack is in a certain range. And if you have a 300 stack, you can't even use dark hungers, so the value was just 1 to 1, at 2.5 bill each stack. If you don't care about the stack getting added with crons, you can look at the total cost, but if you do, you can look at the post dark hunger cost. Overall though, it doesn't make a huge difference, and again this is valuing crons at 1.6 mil each. If we use blacksmith crons, everything would still be above the max cost of hammer. So finally, there are my recommendations for this video. If hammers are around 39.5 billion silver and you value crons at the capped market rate, you should always buy hammers to tap pen de barecas. This hammer is kind of crazy good and at the current market price will allow people to get pen debos a lot cheaper than if they use crons. Because every player gets one, it is likely that there will be a lot more supply than demand in the short term, making Debos cheaper in the short term. I also assume that they will release these hammers in the future, so overall that will decrease the cost of getting a pen Debo. Again, another pretty math based video, I'm currently working on some other fun videos for BDO, but these updates are super calculations heavy, and since they are very current, they take priority. Either way, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time.